right, uh, one of the viewers sent this in. Um, thank you, Bob. Uh, it is a um, amplifier. And what it is, is a pass-through amplifier. So it, it has one antenna that goes in here and then, and then it retransmits on a separate antenna. So you can have an external antenna on here and it says outside antenna. And then you have an inside antenna, so it takes stuff outside and it rebroadcasts in the side. So it's a, it's a bi-directional um, antenna, so that's interesting enough. But it's then dual band, which is more interesting. It's um, 800 megahertz and 1800 megahertz. So it's two, two different bands, but on, in the same unit. So, so it must have something like a, a diplexer in it, right? So let's take a look at that. Uh, it comes with the antenna, maybe someday I'll sweep that. It comes with a power supply. He believes it still works, but I don't really care. Really, this is a teardown video. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's uh, have a place for this and a place for me. All right, let's take a look at the end here, inside antenna. And uh, there's an on-off switch. Uh, and five volts in, that's all there is. So this is a, a digital antenna. That's the name of the company, uh, digitalantenna.com. And the one frequency band is, so I think this is, yeah, this is, you can see this on camera. So remember that when you transmit, um, data, it, it's separated into a receive band and a transmit band. So there's um, 824 to 848 as maybe a receive, and then 869 to 894 as a transmit. So there's two here. But then there's also two here, this 850 to 1910 and 1930 to 1990. So there's two here. So you kind of need a diplexer for that one, and you need a diplexer for that one, and then you need a diplexer for both of them. So, you know, how do they do that, right? <laughs> um, or maybe they just have an amplifier and they just don't care. They just, whatever comes in goes out and it's up to you to separate them. Um, so maybe they don't even need a diplexer in here, something like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what to expect in here. Um, so the way we're going to open this is, oops. We're going to pull, uh, pull off this, and then everything should slide out. There we go. Now, it comes with this really nice, heavy-duty, uh, heat-sinked uh, case that nothing makes contact to. So this, this heat sink is completely wasted. There's, there, there's no thermal path to this, to this beautiful, beautiful piece of aluminum. So I guess it's just all of their, all of their products. All of the products look like that. Let me put this uh, nut on here so I don't so I don't lose it. It's got some little rubber bumpies here so it doesn't uh, rattle around in there or short out or something like that. And uh, there we go. There's there's what's going on. Now this is as much as I can zoom in right here. Um, so. The reason that uh, the viewer sent it in was uh, he had popped it open. He didn't recognize what was going on here, and he thought it might make an interesting teardown. Well, it does make an interesting teardown because I know exactly what these things are. And, uh, yeah, so let me put on a different lens here so I can show you what's going on. All right, so here's one connector, and here's a big chip, and here's the other connector. But then there's all these weird things. Lots of weird things. So um, you might think that these are individual little, uh, you know, amplifier sections or filter sections or, or something. And it's all like this Lego type construction. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, so what are these things? And let's take a look at the part numbers on these things. Now, the part number on this is a TDPF dash eight three six E dash one three. And guess what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they're all exactly ten, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And they're all exactly the same part number. And what do we have over here? We have a TDPH dash eighteen eighty L dash one three. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So what the heck's going on? Well, if you look really, really close on each of these parts, it says RX antenna and TX. These are diplexers. Each one of these is a diplexer. So remember I said, do you need one? Do you need two? Do you need three diplexers? No, you need 20. <laughs> 20 diplexers in this product. It's, it's madness. Um, and these are the 180, you know, 1880 megahertz. And these are the 836 megahertz. So the 800 megahertz goes this way and the 1800 megahertz goes this way. And then each one of those bands, remember there's two, this uh, receive and transmit on each one of these, they get split. So <laughs> all I can think of is that, that the, the, the radio waves come in, they get split into a high band, low band, and then they get split again into receive transmit, and then they go into an amplifier. And then they get recombined, and then they go through an amplifier, and then they get recombined, and they go through an amplifier. And, and each time they go into an so, so each time they split and they get amplified, then they get put back together again, then they split again. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Why do you need so many? <laughs> if somebody can draw me the topology of this, that would be really, really interesting. So let me get something to point with here. So let's take a look at the path here. There's a, there's a funny little component down here that looks like it might be a power splitter. Um, although I'm not quite sure about that. It's a funny little part. Um, anyway, we have, uh, uh, it, 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 it seems to come in the antenna and then it gets bl bl blocked out into receive and transmit. Then there's a, 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 an amplifier chip here and then an amplifier chip here, an amplifier chip here, 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 and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six amplifiers on this side and one, two, three, four, five amplifiers on that side, which seems a little odd. Um, so maybe this, I don't know. I don't know. Well, please, somebody help. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, each one of these is a diplexer. And um, I will try to remove these and see if we can't sweep them out and see and see how they do uh, in a future video, not this video, but in a future video, I will try to uh, I will try to sweep these uh, these diplexers and see how good they are. Um, yeah, very 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 strange. Uh, focus here, um, and just one final view here for those playing along at home. Pretty, pretty, pretty wild. Yep. All right. Um, I tried removing one of these and all it did was kind of crack it in half. You can kind of see some structure inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like ten resonant uh, fingers. Uh, in this filter design um so that's interesting but anyway i couldn't it would not come off the board i don't know if, i don't know what how it's attached to the pc board but it, it's not popping off i thought maybe i could just pop it off but nope it doesn't pop off um but in looking at this thing closer uh, i discovered a secret which is if you take a look at this um uh duplexer the transmit is terminated with 50 ohms. And if you look at this one, the, uh, let's see, there's a 50 ohm resistor here. 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 So it's like they're only using half of these diplexers they're just using the filter portion of it um so that's that's interesting so uh, i guess they're cheap enough that you just 
waste it and only used half of it. I, you know, I, I, I guess that makes sense. Um, but that's the way these things are being used. They're only using half of what they can, what they can really do. They don't need to split it. They just need the actual filter portion of it. And maybe if you just buy enough of these, they're cheap enough. You just, that's the way you do it. So, uh, or maybe that you need some, some of the time you're using the transmit. Sometimes they're using the receive and you might as well just buy one part instead of two different parts. So yeah, I don't know. Same, same with over, same with these over here. There's a bunch of 50 ohm terminations, and I mean these are these are identical except for frequency. Um, so yeah, that's interesting.